Hi guys, so today I'm so excited to introduce you to what is probably the oldest new wedding venue that I've ever visited. Now this is Rockhampton Manor and I can't wait to show you around. Wow guys, look at that. What an entrance to come into. Welcome to Rockhampton Manor. Oh, what a beautiful site. I just love that. The oldest part of this building actually dates back to 1623. Um, that's the first part that you're gonna go into. And trust me, it's absolutely breathtaking. I love this place. It's actually the first time I've been here, so I've had a look round and it's actually really exciting. I just want to show you before we head inside, this area here can actually be used for a marquee or even a teepee or something as well. That would kind of fit in really well with all the surroundings. And you've got a lovely view of the beautiful building behind. I'll start off by showing you this beautiful entrance. It's a lovely old entrance. It's got amazing original features on there as well. Like I said, this is the oldest part of the building that we're going into first. And it's really hefty door. <laughs> lovely old knocker on there. Here we go. So guys, this is one of the areas that you could use for your drinks reception. I hope you are soaking in as much of the surroundings as I am. All this oak panelling around the edge is just beautiful. It's so much detail and everything in there. Um, when this was an original manor house, they would have actually had this as the largest room in the house, so it would have been the most used room. But over the years, it's been expanded time and time again, so we've got some more spectacular rooms to come. It's got a real lovely feel to it in here, um, and I really hope you love it as much as I do. Guys, I just wanted to stop and have a look at this lovely staircase. I think this would make a lovely place for you to have some photographs and things done. Um, photographs on staircases always look really elegant. And you could also have flowers and things coming down the edges here. So you could just enhance it, really bring it to life and have some lovely photos done. Like on the way down the stairs, you can do like a bit of yeah, nice posing on the staircase. And just with these lovely features around you, kind of bring your pictures to life and really captures everything that this building is about. Got another lovely staircase in here guys every single area in this place is really kind of has that amazing feel to it so no matter where your guests go and explore they're gonna have all this history and you know amazingness around them which i think is absolutely brilliant so the room we're about to go into now is one of the areas that will be licensed for ceremony. So this venue is so new, it actually hasn't got all its ceremony licenses through yet. They are expected to be through by September. So if you're looking for like a 2018 wedding, you've got no worries about that at all. And they will have two fully licensed areas. And this one here is one of them. Wow, look at this room guys. We've got it set up so that it just gives you a hint of what it'd be like for your ceremony but it's just such a lovely room. Obviously when you've got your wedding flowers in here, they'll add a bit of bright and a bit of colour, but just as a room itself, it's just beautiful, isn't it? We've got a lovely straight in the door and then straight up the aisle. So we're walking up the aisle, up the middle here, all your friends and family on either side. And then you've got this beautiful backdrop behind you. So when you're getting married, you're surrounded by original features from the house. And this fireplace is just so intricate and so beautiful that what better backdrop can you get really? This room will be licensed for around 60 guests. And in the evening, this room can either be, if you've got a small wedding reception, you can hold that in here. Um, or if you're using the great hall, then in here we can have the bar area set up. So it'd be like an, a bar area and snug where people can chill out, have a relax, have their drinks and things, then head back through to the main hall as well. This is kind of area you'd also have your photo booth in. So if you've got your photo booth in here, they can get their drinks, take their pictures and come back next door. And So as we come out of the library, we're gonna go back into the corridor we came through, but this is a detail that I really like. Now, we came up this way through the building, um, and this time we're gonna actually head through into the great drawing room. Now, this is where you hold your wedding receptions for your evening. Now, what I really like is that your guests can come in this way, have your ceremony and things in the library where you've just come from, and you haven't spoiled the surprise of the great drawing room. 
Now, as you can see, this room has an amazing amount of natural light in it. So although it's got the dark wood panelling around the walls, it's not a dark room to sit in, which I absolutely love. You can see at the moment they've got it set up ready. They're actually having a wedding anniversary dinner here tomorrow. So it's all kind of set up for that. But for your wedding, you'll be able to have chair colours and flowers on the table and all those kind of bits if you want to. Um, for your wedding breakfast, it will seat 76 people in here. The top table can go in front of the fireplace that kind of gives you a really nice backdrop. Um, for your top table and then you've got these lovely oval tables around you as well for your guests to sit at. And in the evening it will then go up to 120 people that can be here and you've also got beautiful outside grounds as well that can be used. So guys, as you all know, I always like to have a quick look around in the toilets when I'm at a venue. Now these toilets are not the best that we've ever seen and it is all still under construction. So I thought, well, I will still show you in here. At least then you can see what's happening um, and hopefully they'll get them done up for us quite soon. Now you've still got room to put like your toiletries and bits if you want to for your guests and stuff on here. Um, and there is a nice full length mirror. In so guys, we're back outside, enjoying the lovely weather that we've got right now, which is amazing. And this is one of the side gardens that we're in at the moment. Um, you can see it's a lovely big open space. Now you can put a marquee out here, or again, teepees would look lovely out here as well. So it's a really lovely area that you can kind of make your own. Out here you can have garden games, you could have even a football pitch. We were talking about a bar mitzvah, they're actually going to create a football pitch outside here so the boys can enjoy a bit of football. Um, and there's just uh, so much space here that it's lovely. I can imagine as these flower beds and things come out, the whole place is just going to come to life. You can see over this side, they've just planted up all the flower beds along here. You've got all the lovely bushes and things in the middle, which again would be lovely backdrops for your photos. There's actually a rose arch. Now that is about to flower. It's got buds and things on it already. So as that comes out, that is just going to be beautiful. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed walking around this lovely venue as much as I have. The grounds of the venue itself are just beautiful and it really excites me to see somewhere that's just a bit different, a little bit quirky and that let you do what you want to on your big day to really make it your own. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel to see lots more videos like this and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!